What if you could come up with thousands of options for a single design without drawing, all of which meet specific goals set by the designer? And from those options, pick the one design that delivers on the most important criteria, the design you couldn't possibly have imagined. This is generative design, a technology that harnesses massive computing power, creating forms with precise amounts of material only where needed, achieving maximum performance while wasting nothing. But generative design can be about much more than simply turning out alternatives. Prototypes can be scanned and equipped with sensors that provide real-time performance data that can be looped back into the design process so the object, in effect, co-designs itself. And depending on the material and method of manufacturer chosen, the software can optimize the design for those choices. In its search for the optimal design, generative design creates complex forms that would otherwise be impossible to make using traditional manufacturing methods. Now with advancements in material science and the ability of 3D printers to print metal, companies like Airbus can create forms like this airplane partition panel that's half as light and just as strong. The result? Significant reduction in fuel costs and CO2 emissions. The things that have limited us in the past, software, materials, manufacturing, no longer do so. With generative design, the world can look and perform any way we want it to. This is the next stage in the evolution of design, and it's happening now.